everyone, it's Mike Quackenbush, your director of fun here at the Wrestle Factory for Free Match Monday. I'm going to show you something from last year's UK tour at Let 'em Eat Cake. And after the match is over, stick around because I'm going to tell you how to see the entire event for free. And already here, I don't know if you noticed, it looks to me as if Iho has left. Again, trying to get a read on that guy. You're as, your guess is as good as mine. Ice Cream Jr. there, knee to the midsection. Our own elbow tie there resulted in a knee. Mr. Touchdown fighting up from underneath. Ice Cream Jr., though, at least at the moment, has the advantage. And what is that? Uh, I believe that he just struck Mr. Touchdown with a kendo stick. And I'm laughing, but uh, this is really quite serious. And Bryce Renzer should disqualify them for this. He get a kendo stick. He's a big Kendo Nagasaki fan, perhaps. Ah, uh, you could be right about that. But Bryce getting uh, getting the word there that uh, that that, he, that youngster stooging off Elio to ice cream. He has an honest face, that young man. He's an honest face. Well, Bryce Remsburg is going to make certain that justice is done here in a moment, fans. is exposed. Uh, I think the only person who imagines that El Hijo del Ice Cream is crafty is El Hijo del Ice Cream. Not even his brother believes it. I, I would like to sit down one day with Ice Cream Jr. He's a very, he's a very uh, private, very secretive individual. Mm -hmm. And just ask him, why do you keep teaming with your brother? Mm -hmm. Are there, is there anyone else in the family you can get as a tag team partner? Right, maybe Dad would come out of retirement. Oh, that's right. I am from a civilized country, Mexico. We don't do this. You know, they may have changed their colors mm -hmm. in those ice creams, but they have not changed their stripes, so to speak. <laughs> ice cream Jr. doing anything he can. Better watch out. Mr. Touchdown is steamed, and rightly so. He got cracked between the shoulder blades, and it's a good thing it hit him there because he's got very muscular shoulders. He's really lucky he didn't get hit with that stick somewhere else. But even so, uh, it is extremely unpleasant to be struck with one of those. Dasher now making himself the legal man in this contest. All right. Some wrestling perhaps to occur here. All right. Ice Cream Jr. is in the ring opposite Dasher Hatfield. Dasher Hatfield is the captain of his team, Ice Cream Jr., the final round draft pick for Crown and Court. Oh boy. What is. I don't know. I'm trying to call the action in the ring and. Imagine, imagine wrestling the ice creams and the distraction that they are constantly. Just trying to call the action of what they're doing is a distraction. Mm. Ice Cream Jr. here with a repeated avalanche in the corner, and there is now... What on earth? Another big splash here in the corner on Dasher Hatfield. Oh, boy. The young lady very gracefully getting into the ring. Mm, boy, I'll say. Sending Dasher Hatfield across the ring while Bryce Rensburg is preoccupied now this... with Mr. Touchdown. Oh, they just, they just used it like a foreign object. Basically, just sticking her feet out and making her into a battering ram to knock down Dasher Hadfield. There is an amazing amount of cheating going on. This is like taking cheating to a new level. This mm. is. Oh, she didn't. She didn't do his little dance correctly. She's, he's ashamed of her. I'd like to think that maybe this is part of Los Ice Cream's game plan. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. Do you think they have strategy meetings? Uh, you know what? I mentioned before I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Scratch that. I want to be on Los Ice Cream's uh, strategy situation. That would be recorded for posterity. I would I would share that with the world. Like a PBS documentary. Oh, boy. Get Ken Burns on that mm. stat. 
the throwbacks here finally starting to get it to come together. Their tandem offense, arrow flying headbutts follow the double hip toss. Now they're starting to wrestle their game a little bit. And that's what you've got to do because, I mean, the ice creams will do everything but wrestle if you give them the opportunity. <laughs> And see, you saw that, that shot there, that slap right to the face. You know, when it boils right down to it, the ice cream are dangerous. They are deadly. They do have some, they do have some deadly moves in their repertoire. repertoire but uh, they're more interested in goofing around than anything else. Arm drag to Dash or Hatfield. What's he got? Looking to send him across. Backdrop coming. And see, that's where he claims victory to El Hio to ice cream. Momentary distraction there. And now it's Eho with the advantage over Dasher, at least for uh, a split second. Sent into the buckle is El Hio to ice cream. Dasher maybe playing a little game of his own here. Oh, and that one is out of here, Leonard. It's time to round the bases. Do they have baseball in England? Uh, I believe they do. I don't think it's very popular. Bryce getting a little double pay there as an umpire. Says he's safe. El Hio to the outside, just as uh, legal as a hand-to-hand -hand tag. Ice Cream Jr. now the legal man of the contest. That's the way you used to see in a tag. Touchdown into the ring. Looking for La Tapatia is Dasher Hatfield, but he's just going to use this submission hold to set up his partner, Mr. Touchdown. Take a look at this tandem offense from the throwbacks, our former campeones. I think it would be nothing short of a major upset if Los Ice Creams were to defeat the former champions here today in Wolverhampton. These series of splashes are a touchdown trademark. A bit of an upset, you say, Mike? Major. Major. <laughs> El Hio on the ice outside here. A little time to celebrate that mm -hmm. small victory. Right. Big celebration for a small victory. That's right. The little ones do count. They do matter for something. And I think Touchdown is just about fed up with El Hio to ice cream at this point. Well, can you blame them? Every opportunity the Ice Creams have had to outright break the rules. Oh, this time it was Eho being used as the battering ram by Junior. That's the kind of tandem offense you can expect from Los Ice Creams. Ooh, and touchdown just speared him like he's one of those tackling dummies. Let me see. Ice Cream Jr. is like, no, 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 it wasn't me, it was him. <laughs> Jr. doing the right thing there. Oh, and very quickly there. Right as touchdown was sliding in, Ice Cream Jr. elbow dropped him to cut off his momentum. Only a one count big leg drop here, perhaps. Well, that's what you got to do. You got to string a couple moves together. But you see, Mr. Touchdown was out on one, if not before. Mr. Touchdown's got a lot of fight in him. Every single member of the roster wants to make the best possible impression before these great UK fans who for years have been demanding Chikara come across the Atlantic. Finally, it has happened. Nobody wants to disappoint. Some 30 or more members of the roster are here to make this UK tour everything that the fans had expected it to be. I don't see that working. <laughs> I have no idea what to make of that pin. There's Stomp to the face, touchdown in here, brought back into the corner. If they have brief glimpses, brief moments of brilliance do Los Ice Creams. Ice Cream Junior here, trying to, what's he got there? Mm, trying to jam him up. You can see the way he was clutching at his ears there. Those kind of moves too, they're very easy to cauliflower up an ear. And uh, Mr. Touchdown is in a world of hurt. I don't really feel like he's in 
danger of losing the match, but he has absorbed quite a bit of offense at this point. I, I, as I said, I, I think it'd be nothing short of a major upset if the Ice Creams were to pin either of these guys, either Hatfield or Touchdown. Listen, this could be the beginning of their streak. This could be where they turn it all around here in the UK. What if, Mike, and again, what if they are super effective here in the UK? Maybe they'll never leave, and they'll become UK sensations in the world of wrestling. Stranger things have happened. Uh, the ice cream sandwiches follow the two scoop slam. Another one of these bizarre pinning combinations. He, he, he can't say, oh, he didn't hook the leg. He, he did hook the leg in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> Looks like a chin lock here. As Mr. Touchdown, he's kind of bent back there. You can see his legs are underneath him. That's a tough spot to work your way out of. You gotta back bridge your way out and turn his body in. And at least for the moment, anyway, the ice creams are doing the right thing, and that they're keeping touchdown away from Dasher Hatfield. Oh boy. Sending into the double boots there of Ice Cream Jr. Mm -hmm. in the center of the ring. Touchdown knew where he was, though. He tried to stick his hand out to see if he could sneak a tag. Let's see how, let's see how this pans out. <laughs> but, and see, this is the thing. He has his feet on the rope for a pin. Ice Cream Jr. distracts the referee. No pin call can be counted. I don't understand the strategy, Mike. I, I want to imagine it's like a blackboard that's filled oh. with like the crazy notations like in an episode of Lost. And like that's what their strategy is like. And then it just gets out there and it all falls. I was going to say, and that's the thing, maybe on paper their plans work. And then as soon as they come out through the curtain, they're just distracted and forget everything. Uh, I've certainly trained wrestlers over the years that I'm aware of that they have great strategy, you know, they study their opponents, but then they go out there and the lights hit them and they're in front of a live audience and they get nervous and that game plan just falls apart. But these guys have been around for nine years and that's the kind of mistake you make at nine months, not nine years. Trying to avoid touchdown, at least at the moment there. They're picking and choosing their shots and they, they have isolated touchdown for a few minutes. And Mike, you put, it, uh, you put it very well before. They're not in any danger of losing or the throwbacks, but Touchdown has taken a lot of punishment mm -hmm. and continues to do so. What's he doing here? Reminds me of Yokozuna. <laughs> the little bonsai drop. Not the same effect as Yokozuna, but still very effective. Coming crashing down on the sternum there, just essentially knocking the wind out of you. Especially if you do that during uh, inhalation. If you do that while the man is inhaling, it is very dangerous. You hear the crowd here firmly behind the throwbacks, chanting for defense, wanting to get touchdown to make a tag. Now he on the outside. Pulls him out, and now touchdown's outside the ring. That's just as good as a tag. Mm -hmm. Where's Dasher, uh, though? Touchdown. Mm, well, I thought he was making a mistake, but obviously not. He's outsmarted Eho. Now touchdown. Look at that. With the greatest of ease, slingshots himself into a flying shoulder tackle. Reminds me of Jim the Anvil Neidhart back in the days of the Hart Foundation. Junior, though, was quick to put an end to that. And, mm, you see what's going on over here? I do see that young man uh, who ratted out El Hio to ice cream before Dasher has brought him back up onto the apron. As there's a little bit of a di uh, dissension here, a little bit of a disagreement between Los Ice Cream. Not the first time, probably not the last time this will happen between these two. I do feel like Ice Cream Jr. overall is like the ring general of this. Oh, video. sure. If I was him, I'd look to maybe get a singles run going. <laughs> Talk you should to talk to him. You should speak to him. Listen, it's on my list of things to do. I heard they're on Twitter now, so oh you should see if you can't uh, set up a Skype or something with Ice Cream Junior. You should DM him. The 360 Mexican backbreaker there capped it off for Mr. Touchdown. It was Manhattan drop, atomic drop, 360 backbreaker was the combination. Touchdown is making the stretch. Oh boy. He's going to make the tag here. Make oh, the boy. <laughs> This is about to get very interesting indeed. <laughs> Basically what we saw earlier turned around. Turnabout is fair play. Ice Cream Jr. is on his way out in the throwbacks using this youngster as a battering ram. <laughs> Good grief. 
And Bryce Rensberg brings us to the three count. I can't wait to hear. Let's go down to the ring announcer Gavin Wadsbreaker for the official win on this one, fans. Well, I hope you enjoyed Los Ice Creams versus the throwbacks from Wolverhampton, England. If you want to see us again live in the UK, you're in luck. We just announced the 2016 UK tour. And if you want to see more of Let Em Eat Cake, well, you could watch that entire event. In fact, our whole UK tour from 2015. Head over to Chikaratopia.com right now. The first week of unlimited streaming is absolutely free. Sign up over at Chikaratopia.com. Then join me back here next week for another edition of the Podcast A Go Go and Free Match Monday.